All right, in this video, this is T's multiple choice math review video number five. And this example here is similar to one of over 100 multiple choice questions that I have available for you. I recommend trying the free sample first to get a preview of what that is. You will do some sample questions, multiple choice, and you will receive feedback on every single problem. If you like that and you want more practice, there is the full review. And again, that's over 100 questions. I'm adding more on a weekly basis, and you can find links to all of this in the description. Back in September of 2020, I finally started a Tease Math Facebook group. There's a link to that in the description as well. Go ahead and join that. So back to this example. Sarah is three years less than four times Mike's age. If the sum of their ages is 47, how old is Sarah? So our goal is to figure out how old Sarah is and this right here is a good starting point, the sum of their ages. We have Sarah and we have Mike. I'm going to let S represent Sarah's age, and I'm going to let M represent Mike's age. The sum, we're going to add those ages together, and that sum is 47. Therefore, Sarah's age plus Mike's age is equal to 47 years. Now we have an equation with two variables and a popular topic here is systems of equations. But before I dive into that, I want you to look at some of these answer choices. Because on a multiple choice test, you may often look at answers to eliminate choices. Now check this out. We see 40 and we see 7. 40 plus 7, that's 47. So maybe it's one of these two answers. But then we also have 37 and 10. 37 plus 10 gives us 47. Keep those ideas in mind, and we'll come back and talk about that more in detail right here in a moment. So before that, I mentioned systems of equations, and we have two variables, Sarah's age and Mike's age. Well, check out this first sentence. It says, Sarah is three years less than four times Mike's age. Sarah is, we can write Sarah is, Sarah equals, three years less than four times Mike's age. Here is a common mistake I see. I see students write three minus four M. That is not correct. You actually got this mixed up. It should be written like this. Four times Mike's age minus three. Think about this. If you are three years less than somebody else's age, Suppose somebody is 20 and you are three years less than they are. You would actually take 20 minus 3, not 3 minus 20. The same idea applies here. Three years less than four times Mike's age. So we have four times Mike's age and we want to find three years less than that. So we subtract 3 from 4M. Now, how is this helpful? Since Sarah's age is equal to this, we can actually replace Sarah's age in this equation. This S, same thing as that S, it is equal to 4M minus 3. So I'm going to replace Sarah's age with 4M minus 3. This is the same thing as Sarah's age. Now let's bring down the rest of this equation. We got plus M, I'm just bringing everything else down, and this is equal to 47. Now with this equation, we're going to solve for M, which is Mike's age. Let's combine like terms. 4M plus 1M is 5M. Bring down our minus 3, and this is equal to 47. Our next step is to add 3 to both sides. We're trying to get that M by itself, so we're canceling out our 3s. We have 5M is now equal to 50, 47 plus 3. So 5 times M equals 50. Well, that's going to be 10, right? 5 times 10 equals 50. Just in case it's not that easy sometimes, we can divide both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 gives us 1. So we have a leftover 1M, or we could simply say M. And that is going to be equal to 50 divided by 5, and we said that was 10. Now, if you do not read the question carefully, you may say, hey, D is my answer. I got a number that match, so I'm going to circle it. Be careful. The question says, how old is Sarah? Well, now that we know that Mike is 10 years old, 
Go back to this equation right here. Sarah is going to be four times Mike's age, and we want to find three less than that, so we're going to subtract three. Therefore, Sarah is going to be equal to four times 10 is 40, minus three, this will give us Sarah's age of 37 years old. Our answer is B. Now back to that multiple choice tip. You know, we said 40 plus seven was 47, and 37 plus 10 was 47. If you read this question carefully, if Sarah is three years less than four times Mike's age, I would probably make the assumption, since we're talking about four times Mike's age, I'm thinking Sarah's gonna be older. So that would make me want to eliminate the younger ages right off the bat. Now these multiple choice tips do not always work, but if we actually look at this, we take 37, we're saying, hey, that's Sarah's age. That is three years less than four times Mike's age. Okay, well, let's assume Mike's age is 10. If we take four times Mike's age, that's going to give us 40. Mike is 10, four times Mike's age is 40, and now notice, Sarah is three years less than this. So if we subtract three from 40, we get that 37. So you could essentially skip all this, but it's still good to know some of these techniques, especially if the multiple choice tips aren't really working out for you, if they don't give you the particular wrong answers that you may end up using. But notice we did say Mike was 10. We found four times Mike's age, which was 40. We found three years less than that, which is 37. And if you notice, 37, Sarah's age, plus 10, Mike's age, gives us that sum of 47. And there you have it, an age word problem. And again, if you missed the first part, check out that free sample. If you like that free sample with the answers and full explanations, go ahead and check out that full review as well. You can find links to those in the description. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.